Today's demonstration gives you an idea of the managed path in SharePoint version 2013. What is managed path? Managed path is a location in the web application which allows the site collection to be placed. Site collections which are grouped together by similar functionalities. By default, SharePoint comes with slash and slash sites as the default managed paths. But that is not the common requirement. Suppose you want to create a site on your, in your admin site, in your IT site. Would you like this URL site slash admin? In many cases, the answer is no. You would rather prefer a site without the word called sites. In that case, you can create a custom managed path. Today's tutorial demonstrates that. So in, for the example, we are going to assume there is an IT site at the top and we are going to create admin with the explicit man your managed path and the SharePoint site with the wildcard managed path. What is explicit? Explicit meaning there will be no other site collections under that. And if you want many site collections under a particular URL, you might have the wildcarding, wildcard support. Enough of theory, we shall go on to the demo now. Launch the central administration from your SharePoint server. Go to Application Management. Click Manage Web Applications. Select the web application where you want to set the managed path. We will click IT. Click Managed Paths. If you observe, the default paths provided are the root and the sites. And the under a root site, you are not going to have any more site collections. It is always recommended or it is a must that a web application always comes with a root site collection. And after that, all the site collections are hosted under the sites. If you want to set a custom managed path, we shall start with admin now. You can check if the URL exists or not. If the web page cannot be found, you can go ahead and create the path. We will click select explicit inclusion, select add path. Let's also create another path for SharePoint and choose wildcard. Once you're done, click OK. Now go back to your application management and click Create Site Collections. Select the IT web application and type Administration. We shall choose the Admin Path. You can click choose Control K to automatically select the administrator. Click OK. The admin site is created. Now let's create a SharePoint site.
Now let's try to create a site collection under the explicit admin. So if you observe, we have already created a site admin. After that site is created, since we chose the so, uh, choice for explicit inclusion, we cannot create any more site collections. But for SP, you can create any number of site collections. Also, it is a recommended practice to keep the maximum number of managed paths to a limit of 20 for better performance. In case you want to remove a managed path, select it and click cell delete selected paths. Kindly ensure that all the sites in that particular managed paths are deleted before you perform this action. Observe that the deletion of the managed path resulted in a deletion of the site also. You cannot access the site after you have deleted the managed path. You can, you can, however, you can access the admin site. Now let us try to add the managed path through the PowerShell admin. First, add the snap-in for Microsoft.SharePoint.PowerShell. Then, if you see a sample example to add a managed path, new hyphen, SP managed path, the name, and the web application. So in our example, we give the command new hyphen SP managed path, the name SP, the web application is http-it.contoso.com and the default type is wildcard. If you want to specify explicit, you need to specify the parameter explicit. And if you, if you have any host header, you need to supply the command host header. Let's go back and check the managed paths from the Central admin. If you now see the SP is added, added from the through the PowerShell command. Now let us try to remove the managed path through PowerShell. First get the web application it.contoso.com then get the managed path using the command get hyphen sp managed path then run the command remove hyphen sp managed path the identity which you want to remove and execute Sup supply the web application URL also if you want to confirm yes now if you view the set of managed paths the SP is gone so today you saw how to create an explicit managed path called admin, wildcard managed for SharePoint, and how to add a managed path through central admin as well as PowerShell. You also learned how to remove a wildcard managed path through PowerShell as well as central admin. Thank you.